Beloved, I want to say at the outset tonight that some will hear things they never knew. But rejoice that truth came. We're going to talk about ghosts, spooks, hants, zombies, poltergeists, and whatever else they are known as. And we're going to talk about dead people. Where are they? And what are they doing? There was a time in our history before they perfected the science of embalming in this country. And especially when people lived in isolated areas and could not get to hospitals and morgues, that if a loved one passed, they would often bury that loved one the same day. And many mistakes were made. A man by the name of Mark Walston wrote an article in a Maryland newspaper and he talked about a person who had a most peculiar kind of invention. This man invented a coffin with a spring lock top strong enough to throw open a grave that was not covered too deeply. There was a reason for that. People had been put in those boxes who weren't yet dead. A Gallup poll revealed that over 8 million people now claim to have had a near-death experience. There is a book, this is an article read right out of the paper, there is a book called Embraced by the Light. It has been a bestseller for a long time about people who claim to die and are embraced by light and they see other loved ones dead and eventually come back to life down here. Another man by the name of Harry Shepard of Orange County, California, belonged to the Orange County Society for Psychic Research. And he bought a tape recorder and went out into the graveyard at night listening for voices from beyond the grave. And it says in this article, listening to the dead. From spirit voices to poltergeists, they've got it on tape. Now they've played these tapes. And they hear groans and mutterings and other such noises which they believe prove the existence of a higher life after death. Today we've come to the place where spiritualism ranks right along with sex and violence in the making of movies and television stories for the interest of the people is captivated. Sex, violence, spiritualism. Not long ago I read of a movie called Ghost and Whoopi Goldberg got an Oscar for playing the part of a medium. And they make the stories beautiful, you see. A girl lost her lover and and, and this medium brought them together. And when that thing was shown on an airplane, 
a friend of mine said folk were just weeping. And when it was over, a lady said, I believe that's the way it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that is not the way it is. Every now and then, these things show up in my mailbox. A Capitol Hill astrologist. Do you ever wonder what the future holds for you? Would you like to know who and when you should marry? Maybe that's why the divorce rate is so high. Would you like to know who your enemies are? How to be a success? How to win the one you love? This gifted woman can answer any and all questions. All you need is her. You don't have to pray if this is true. And you know, it's out here in Phoenix. I was driving home the other day, and there's a house sitting off there, Palmist. They're here. This came in my mailbox in, a, in an envelope, and I opened it, and it said, Your corpse is required to attend the freak worship mass for the unholy living dead. There's a poem in here. It says, Good night, sweet black prince of death. Legions of hell lull thee to thy rest. When witches Sabbath at full moon high, thy soul, thy mind will smoke and die. I don't know why they said this to me. But there is no end to it. Whether you want to believe it or not today, a large number of congressmen and senators depend on astrologers astrologers before making decisions that can affect the life of everyone in America. A former president not far removed and his wife got information on hard and basic decisions from an astrologer before he could make up his mind. Many of these people have 900 numbers. The minute you start to talk, they are making money. They've got a movie star and a song, a songstress advertising on national television. All of these people draining funds, deceiving minds, confounding the public, confusing them, and transplanting faith which is displaced by all of this foolishness. 1989 was a bad year for psychics and astrologers. A man by the name of Ralph Blodgett went out and purchased the National Enquirer, Star, Globe, National Examiner, Sun, News Extra, and every other tabloid that featured these people with their predictions. He then put into his computer every one he found in those magazines. There were 550. They were made by folk like Gene Dixon, Barbara Duchess, Emo Dumas, Penelope Fortune, Montana Kelly, Sven Peterson, Bell Starr, and 28 others rich already on the gullibility of the public. This man isolated 550 predictions. 535 failed. They were wrong 97% of the time. And yet people get on that 900 number and they pay their money they will believe everything except that which has never been proved a lie. 